Chronic neck pain is a common problem experienced in modern society. Many studies have shown that this condition is associated with impairment of the deep spiral neck flexors, in particular the longus collie muscles. Conversely, those suffering from chronic neck pain often exhibit overactivity of the superficial muscles, including the sternocleidomastoid and scalene muscles. Ultrasound has been shown to provide a good real-time indicator of muscle function and can be used as an objective tool to assess muscle atrophy and hypertrophy. In this video, I will show you how real-time ultrasound can be used to assess the cross-sectional area of the cervical muscles and to determine if there are dysfunctional strategies used in the activation of the deep cervical neck flexors. We will also show how rehabilitative ultrasound imaging can be used as a biofeedback tool to facilitate appropriate muscle activation. To obtain an axial image of longus colli, scan the neck in a transverse plane just lateral to the trachea with the patient lying supine with no pillow. Image the thyroid lobe at the lateral edge of the trachea, the pulsatile carotid artery will be seen further lateral to this, with the longus colli visualised beneath this. Here we see the sternocleidomastoid muscle superficially, with the carotid artery, jugular vein and longus colli muscle posteriorly. The longus colli muscle can be scanned in a longitudinal fashion, just lateral to the midline. Look for the pulsatile carotid artery in a longitudinal plane with the longus colli muscle under this and the cervical transverse processes further posterior. Teach the patient to engage their deep cervical neck flexors by having them nod their head and gently lengthen their neck. The longus colli muscle can be viewed with M mode during activation to assess its thickening during the contraction. The superficial sternocleidomastoid can also be simultaneously assessed to gauge whether the intensity of the exercise is appropriate. The anterior scaling muscle can be scanned in cross section, just lateral to the carotid artery. The anterior scaling is seen underneath the sternocleidomastoid and lateral to the longus colli muscle. The anterior scalene can then be imaged in M mode to assess any overactivity in the muscle during the contraction of the deep cervical neck flexors. Ultrasound can then be used as a biofeedback tool to inhibit dysfunctional activity. If you would like to learn more about rehabilitative ultrasound imaging or attend one of the workshops run by Ultrasound Solutions, then you can visit our website at ultrasoundsolutions.com dot com dot au